they're asking us to find, plot this point, and then to find the polar representation. Now, we look at this in polar form, and we remember that polar form is r theta, right? Where r represents the radius. Well, the radius in this point, in this case, is 0, right? So therefore, it's going to be at the origin of 0, 0, right? There is no distance of the radius that is going. However, we can find alternate forms of this point by simply finding the coterminal angle. So when it asks you, you know, to graph the point and then find multiple forms, what they're asking you to do is find, you know, with the same radius, but just find coterminal angles. So to find coterminal angles, negative 7 pi over 6, we can add 2 pi. Negative 7 pi over 6, we can subtract 2 pi. And this is the case for whatever the radius is. Doesn't matter if the radius is 0, 1, 2, or in any other problem that you guys did. Just find, with the same radius, find the coterminal angles. So I'm going to rewrite 2 pi. Um, is it OK if I rewrite 2 pi as 12 over 6? Then I just simply go ahead and add these. So that's 5 pi over 6. And this one is going to be negative 19 pi over 6. Now again, guys, remember coterminal angles. There's infinite many number of coterminal angles. So you could keep on adding 2 pi. You could keep on subtracting 2 pi and so forth. So be careful on the directions, JJ, if they ask for what type of representation of different angles they want. Like remember when we said, co I, I never said find two coterminal angles. I always said, you know, find the, two, uh, find two small, the smallest and the largest, or um, um, the smallest positive, smallest negative coterminal angles. So be careful on what they um, be at. But again, if I just want to find two angles that have the same representation, it'd be 5 pi over 6. And 0 equals negative 19 pi over 6. OK? So the radius is really, the, the radius stays the same, but the angles is what's going to differ. And when you're finding